Halafia. I'm Philip John Neymark, the founder of the IFA Foundation International. I'd like to welcome you to the latest iteration of the monthly IKUFA. People have asked me, you know, what's the difference between the monthly IKUFA and the IFA scope, and, you know, etc. The monthly IKUFA is based upon two premises. One premise is that um, it is necessary to have an overview of what is likely to be transpiring over the coming 30 days. And that overview, by the way, is going to probably result in several EBOs, not a single EBO. People often say to me, well, you give, you know, two or three or four sometimes um, in regard to the uh, equal file, why can't we do that in regard to... Uh, you know, our EFASCOPE or everyday readings. Well, one is meant to cover a multitude of issues, problems, successes, all kinds of things, all right? And the other concentrates on a single issue, and we use a single uh, area of a bow you know, to uh, remedy it. So, that's number one. Number two, the uh, concept that a rumula is everlasting, is always going to have, you know, our best interests in mind, uh, is somewhat false. It's true in one sense, but in another sense, in the practical, more meaningful way, it isn't true. Because all the Orisha are dependent upon us, and we are dependent upon the Orisha. And it makes no difference if it's a Rumula, or a Goon, or a Shun, or whoever it is. If we do not participate, if we do not give the essence of our, you know, ourselves, our inner selves to them, by virtue of a bow, by virtue of prayer, by virtue of offerings, you know, um, they will diminish in power. In our case, not in everybody's case, but in our case, and they won't be able to help us quite as much, and you know, probably eventually not at all. So um, that's the reason, second reason that we do the uh, monthly kufa, because Rumula says to us on a case by case basis what it is that he would like slash need to enhance his strength, his understanding, his um, ability to handle all of your issues. So those are the two things. And this week, uh, or this month, excuse me, uh, the sign is, <coughs> excuse me, a wandering OB. The wandering is Certain kinds of problems or blockages may or may not exist, but the point is they will diminish or evaporate once we uh, address them. They may indeed evaporate if we just go along our business and stay on path, but basically it's the assurance that life on the temporal, everyday side will begin to flow again. On the emotional, spiritual side, it's more critical um, time for us because while it's Ogby, the Big Bang Theory, the streaming forth of all kinds of uh, opportunities. I have one uh, uh, person who sends me their readings and who says uh, that uh, you know she's just so excited by all this and she, you know, um, it isn't a matter of getting excited, it's a matter of getting the information. And the information will tell us how to get through in the best possible manner. So, um, at any rate, that's what Ogbi is, right? Because Ogbi is two separate categories. It is the change coming, but it is either the short-term or the long-term change. The short-term change is, you know, something that uh, doesn't do us much good. 
it disappears pretty quickly and we have to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it but the long-term change which has to do with our uh, relationships our marriage our children our community things like that are long-term in nature and we must you know take it in that step by the way I think that people should look at the piece that I wrote which was just touching on the subject my little dogs are warning me that the uh, <laughs> somebody's delivering something but at any rate <clears throat> excuse me the um, um, change that, that, that is going to take place um, is going to be hopefully in our long term best interest and not in our short term attractive alluring though it may be best interest at all so that's it. it the energy happens to come in rain it's going to, but that just means that it's going to be slightly easier for us to make those right decisions but it doesn't mean we stop thinking about them it doesn't mean we you know stop you know trying to figure out what it means what were the, what are the short term what are the longer term meanings of it at any rate do you have some insight to this when uh, we look at the uh, two offerings actually this month um, which uh, a room would, would like one is um, the uh, Pepe. Now, we use that a lot, actually, and it keeps coming up. And it's because, I mean, there are all kinds of things. It's a scented pepper, little things. We take the kernels and chew them, and the, you know, some people find them very aromatic, and some people find them very hot. Uh, but it's something we put in our mouths and chew, think about, and then what we express has more power. Well, the same goes through, and is true, excuse me, for Romula. So, take Pepe, Pepe, I would say 16 of the little kernels that come all sealed up like this, and uh, that's one of the offerings. And you just spread that out on uh, Romula himself. The second is liquor which shows that Arumula needs some joy, some happiness, some, you know, thing for you know, the joie de vie of life. Those are you know, two simple things. Totally different in nature. will have different applications and different meanings at different, you know, dates in the month or stresses that we have with what's going on in our life or joy that's going on in our life at any rate <clears throat> we, you take the liquor and spit it into um, and by the way I get calls for this all the time what if I'm an AA member of this? I don't think it's going to hurt you I have hundreds of people who you know, make that exception and it doesn't hurt them they don't run you know, and become alcoholics once again but if it really bothers you, you can take it and you can pour it on a Romulo. So, if you're fortunate enough to have a Romulo, and that has to be a minimum of 16 and preferably 18, 18 for it. Two white candles, not one, but two, for the two hands of a Romulo. Light them and pray to Arumula to give you the insight and the discipline to listen, to think about it. Not just by rote to grab these things and do them and say, okay, hunky-dory, everything's going to be great. It'll be as great as you want to make it. As great as, you know, I mean, that's what the foundation is all about, teaching people to get the extra mile out of this, to you know, to get to the very, quote, top of their class. We do it for our initiates, and we do it, you know, for the public in general. Light the candles. Give the offerings. Think about it. And watch what happens. 
Until next time, love and blessings.